This is Triple Divide Peak in Montana. Triple Divide Peak is special because rain and melting snow can flow west to the Pacific Ocean, north to the Arctic Ocean, or east to the Atlantic Ocean. And this is us. We're four friends following the water from Triple Divide Peak 3,500 miles by canoe to the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean. This is the story of our rivers on the river. Welcome back to On the River. We're just one mile away from the Missouri River meeting the Mississippi River. This week we canoed the final miles of the Missouri River and now we're resting at the confluence of the Mississippi River in St. Louis, Missouri. Right now we're on the Missouri River just one mile away from the Mississippi River. But before we get to the Mississippi River we have one more water sample to collect. You're not going to fill up that bottle and drink it, are you? Nah, don't worry. I'm collecting water samples from the Missouri River water to test this water for microplastics. What are microplastics? Well, micro means small, and so microplastics are just really, really tiny pieces of plastic. In fact, they're so small you can't even see them with the naked eye. You have to use a microscope. You see, plastic never goes away. It just breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces. So litter that winds up in the river will become pieces of microplastic. What's the big deal with microplastics? Those tiny pieces of plastics are a big deal. Because animals will drink them or they'll eat them and they'll end up inside their bodies. And then when predators come along, they don't just eat one animal in their lifetime, they eat a ton. And so they'll end up with a load of plastic inside their bodies. Yikes, I eat fish and other predators, so the plastics could end up in me. Ugh, I'd rather season my fish with salt and lemon rather than microplastics. To make those microplastics an even bigger deal, they're like sponges that absorb chemicals and toxins. So when you ingest a microplastic, you're actually ingesting a mega pollution plastic. Ugh, hold the pickles and the mega pollution plastics, please. Wait a minute. If we can't even see these microplastics without a microscope, how are we going to count them? Good question, Aaron. We're going to use the scientific method. The scientific method helps us take small samples of the water to look for microplastics. That way we don't have to look at every drop of the Missouri River. On our canoe trip, we're working with adventurers and scientists for conservation. And they have made this protocol. A protocol is a list of rules so that we collect samples the same way every time. Now, in this protocol, it even tells us how many samples to take. Every 150 miles, I have to take a one liter sample. Now to do this, I have to take a liter bottle and rinse it out three times with river water. Three. Next, I'm going to have to take off my watch because watches have plastics in them and roll up my sleeves because some fabric is made from plastic. Then I'm going to put the bottle in the water and I'm going to take a sample 8 to 12 inches under the surface on the upstream side of the boat. Once the sample's full, I'm going to put an aluminum foil lid on it and then cap it. Then I label the bottle and fill out the data sheet. The data sheet is a way to record info about the site. To record where the sample was taken, we use a GPS and record latitude and longitude. We'll also use a thermometer to record water temperature. And at the very end, we record observations about the site. Once we have collected the samples, we send them to a lab in Maine, where scientists pump the water through a filter, and then they sort the plastics out, counting them with a microscope. Adventures and scientists for conservation have collected 1,207 samples of water from all over the world, and 93% have contained microplastics. So far, all but one of our Missouri River samples have had plastic in them. So Sarah, how can we keep microplastics out of the rivers, the water, and our bodies? Good question. We can use reusable water bottles or reusable bags. That way we cut out unnecessary plastics. And when we really need to use plastic, we can remember to recycle it or throw it away. We should never litter. Wow, someone doesn't know about microplastics. That's okay, because we do. So we can pick up litter when we find it, and that way we can do our part to keep the water clean. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week when we take five on the river. river.